Hi, this is Pastor Timothy Apple of Faith Lutheran Church in Godfrey, Illinois, host of Sharper Iron here on KFUO. Thanks for being a regular podcast listener of the program. We are starting a new series on Sharper Iron that will take us through the books of Ezra and Nehemiah. The series is called God Brings His People Home. The books of Ezra and Nehemiah are often overlooked by many Christians today. This isn't a part of biblical history that we know as well. These aren't texts that show up regularly as a part of our public worship. And yet, the books of Ezra and Nehemiah teach us important truths about the work of the one true God in history. And so it is certainly worth our while to read and study these books. These two books recount the faithfulness of God to bring his people back from exile in Babylon. By working through pagan rulers such as Cyrus and Artaxerxes, the Lord brought his people back to Jerusalem in order to rebuild the temple and to repair its walls. But the Lord wasn't simply concerned about capital campaigns and building programs. He was concerned about the spiritual renewal of his people in the true worship of him and in the lives of faith that flow from his gifts. The Lord accomplished these goals in these two books by giving his people faithful leaders, leaders both from the clergy and the laity. In the first generation of returnees, Yeshua the high priest and Zerubbabel the governor worked together. In the next generation that came home, Ezra the scribe and Nehemiah the governor worked together. Through the gifts of his whole church working together, the Lord reminded his people that they remained his people, and he kept history moving toward his ultimate goal. This is one of the ways that these two books point us to Christ. God is at work in Ezra and Nehemiah, bringing history closer to the fullness of time, when he would send his own son into the world in order to die and rise in the city of Jerusalem, where Jesus would fulfill all the purposes of that temple. Join us on Sharper Iron to study Ezra and Nehemiah and see God at work to give us Christ crucified, risen, and ascended for you.